This video is no joke and it's not clickbait. My patented Smite Ignite Warwick Jungle is actually super scary and has a lot of potential, particularly in low and mid elo. The carry potential on it is absolutely insane. I'd been doing a lot of Smite Ignite Master Yi and had 100% wins on it. So I decided, you know what, let's do Smite Ignite Warwick with Nimbus Cloak. First things first, get down your ward in the enemy's jungle to figure out their jungle pathing. I usually like to do it near the enemy bot side unless I feel like they're gonna invade me, in which case I'll put it on my opposite side jungle. In this case, I don't feel like they're going to try to cheese my opposite side buff, so I'm going to get my word down on Nocturne's Raptors to figure out his jungle pathing and get a better timing so I can invade him. Next up, I'm going to back and get my Oracle Lens and then start with my bot lane because I want to match and mirror Nocturne where he's starting. That way I can invade him on his later camps. So first off, starting with the bot lane, best leash possible, and we want to invade the Nocturne. So we want to start on the same side as him. So he's probably starting with his bot side, so I want to start with my bot side. If he was starting with his top side, I'd want to start with my top side. Now we're going to do Gromp. We want to invade him on our level 3. Warwick sucks at invades before he's level 3 normally. Because he doesn't have ult. Like, he just really needs all 3 abilities. He's not a level 2 fighter like Jarvan or Xin Zhao. He just needs all 3 of them. Got some, got some action going on mid. A lot of action going on top. Still haven't seen Nocturne yet. So, he either started on his blue or he did red golem. Let's drag this into the bush. We should be able to beat Nocturne in a fight. If you ever go in a Conqueror jungle like Warwick, guys, if you're fighting a non-Conqueror jungle, you should be able to beat them in a solo 1v1. Uh, 9 out of 10 times. Like, assuming you have at least as much HP as them. Because Conqueror's just so strong in 1v1s. I'll go gank. I really wanted to invade Nocturne and potentially kill him. But I didn't see him to begin with. So, there's a good chance he's not here. So I'd, I'll just go for this. I don't know where the fudge Irelia went. There she is. I'm going to have to ignite her early. Yeah, I don't know what she was doing. I think she realized she wasn't going to get away, so she just tried to fight. It's whatever. Uh, Nocturne still hasn't shown up. There's a good chance we're going to run to him on a scuttle crab, and we don't have ignite. So we're at a bit of a disadvantage. Okay, so here he is. I don't think he realizes that he's out of mana. Yep, he's gone. Like you guys saw, even though he has lethal tempo and oh, Nocturne's scary because he has a lot of attack speed. Once again, if you're running Conqueror on Warwick, if the enemy jungler doesn't have Conqueror, they won't have a chance for soloing you, especially once you are level 3 with double buffs. There's just Warwick's level 3 double buff Conqueror power spike is insane. Kennedy... A BDXU, that's a weird name. Alright. Bot lane shoved up. We just killed Nocturne, so we want to take double scuttle here. I want to save my smite for the speed up. Like, if I smite a minion with my Nimbus Cloak, it'll be a really strong gank. So that's why I didn't smite scuttle here. Yeah, we're going to get in it. We're going to Nimbus... Wait, where the fuck did Aphelios go? Where did he go? Did he just run away and I didn't see it? Oh, I was so tunnel vision, I didn't see anything. That's insane. Yeah, that might be a bot account. He's got a weird name. But it says Kennedy. And he's playing Gankplank. You get it? Like, it could be intentional. You never know. Obviously, the US president getting his shot in the back of the head or whatever. I don't even know if it was the back of the head, but he got shot in the head. I think he actually got shot in the front and the exit wound was in the back of the head and blew his brains out. Alright, we're going to go back at Tiamat and uh, start applying some more pressure. Dragon is coming up, so we're going to path towards it. With that being said, we did just take Gromp. Jungle monster camps, I believe, are on a 1 minute 30 second spawn, obviously not including the buffs. And we did just take our blue buff. Please kill him. Nice. So I'd like to do a full clear into this side. Gromp should be coming up around then. It should be efficient. Oh, uh, we might just come kill this chick, actually. I was I had a perfect full clear set up, but sometimes you gotta leave what you have going. This bitch is chunking me hard. My Q didn't go off. I tried to Q through Nocturne and I would have gotten off a double fear, but I don't think I got in ranged quiet. 
quite yet. Since Nocturne's low and I killed their mid laner, this is a really good opportunity for me to take Dragon. We nearly got him. That was really, really close. I think it was worth it. If he didn't have shield, we would have killed him. Oh, I have Ignite. Fuck. Was my Ignite up? You gotta use Ignite in situations like those. I'm gonna use the Dragon to block Velkaz skill shots. Let Morgana tank a bit so I can heal up. I saved my smite. I don't understand how Felios works. I don't think anyone knows what that champ does yet. Ignite speed up into him. Q through. Nice. Now the Ignite speed up with the Nimbus Cloak is insane. He couldn't outrun us. We're just going to run from Cass. Yeah, pressure the Velkaz a little bit to get him off my teammates. Oh, she's so screwed. Nice, we got ultimate now. I think we can kill Nocturne on his red buff. I would like to get this for the mana. That was really, really good for us. Yeah, when I ignited a Felios there, I got a massive movement speed bonus. And ignites on a shorter cooldown than flash substantially too, so I'm gonna let him use. <laughs> I'm gonna hold him in the gangplank ult. That's why I ulted a little early if you guys noticed. I only did it to hold him in the GP ult for the extra damage, otherwise I would have saved it until he got a little bit farther away from me. Plus I think the red buff was still hitting him, so it was a 3 for 1 there. Yeah, so far, I'm liking Ignite Warwick and I'm loving Ignite Master Yi. If you guys haven't seen the Master Yi video, I'd go check it out. I already have it up, and it's a lot of fun. I do think Ignite Warwick is good, really strong, especially in low mid elo. And uh, I definitely want to do some more testing on it. But you guys understand the concept. Essentially just ignite with the Nimbus Cloak. And uh, it gives you a lot of movement speed. That's the main point of it. And what I really like about it is let's pretend if that was an Olaf jungle with Conqueror, right? Warwick with Conqueror against Olaf jungle with Conqueror. Warwick usually wins those fights 1v1. But let's just pretend Olaf had more health than you or he's more fed than you for whatever reason. If you had ignite, you would win it easily. That's what I like about it, is it gives you more options, it gives you a lot more 1v1 power, and plus with the Nimbus Cloak, you need to take Nimbus. With the Nimbus Cloak, it gives you some really good ganks, because if you just ignite them, you're so fast. I'm really, really liking it. Not just clickbait, I genuinely think this is strong, particularly in low mid elo. A lot of strong fights. Alright guys, uh... There's not many options on the map right now, and we don't have ult, so instead of looking for a bad gank, we're just farming up a little bit, waiting for ult to come up. We're sitting on a lot of gold. We'll drag blue gromp together here, and then we'll take scuttle. Scuttle's gray. That means it's up in a minute or less. With the season 10 changes, I think it's technically 50 seconds or less, which is dumb, but I'm just going to keep saying a minute or less. They also changed the, the yellow from being, I believe, 20 or 30 seconds to being 15. So yellow's 15 now here in season 10, and... Grace 50 seconds. So now Scuttle's gonna be up. We already knew it was coming up because it was gray. We'll gank this. We're just gonna ult Velkaz early because I want to get on top of him. Morgan set up an easy snare, so I just wanted to use it. Q. We have Ignite. Fear him off of us. We feared each other at the same time. Awesome. Very, very good for us. I'm gonna smite. Look at that Nimbus speed speed up. If even if Twitch didn't have that W, since I smited a minion with the Nimbus cloak speed up, Cass wouldn't have been able to catch me. Really, really like a Nimbus. Yeah, really, really liking it, guys. We're gonna get this and then reset. Apparently, from what chat has been saying, Blood Razor works super popular in Korea, but they don't have a tank, so I'm not gonna build it. If they had some tanks, I would. Uh, I'm going to go for the Warrior for the cooldown reduction, and then I'm also going to go for Lucidity Boots because I have a big PP. Uh, actually, let's just go for the Sheen. I don't need the Tier 2 Boots yet. I'm so far ahead that them chasing me down isn't realistic because they're, they're going to die. And if I have W, Ignite, or Smite anyways, I'll be really fast with Nimbus Cloak. Or if I have Ult, so I don't need Tier 2 Boots. With the amount of gold that I have, I'd rather get Sheen for the 10% CDR and the massive... 
juice it gives on my bites. So I'm just going to leave that. Yeah. Pretty, pretty strong. So bot lane's shoved up. Dragon's coming up, so I want to stay in the area. I don't want to touch top too much because then it gives up dragon control. And uh, Twitch, Twitch AD carry is an AD carry that needs a lot of help. So if the enemies are shoving up against him, ganking it's a really good option. Twitch is horrible early game, but late game he's one of the best AD carries in team fights. Let's clear this out. Mm, if Velkaz goes to stop this, I'm going to kill him. Morgana landed snare. Wow, I missed. I don't even think... Oh, she killed herself. Shit. I don't even think he dodged my my thing. I think I just missed. Yeah, we're just going to go do dragon. There's no reason for us to be here. We can't kill Cass. Even if she runs behind her turret, we're going to kill her regardless. There we go. Looks like Nocturne just getting bought. Since I'm already here, I'm not going to go for Dragon. I'm just going to shove in the turret. I have two levels up on Nocturne. Substantial item level. I mean, item lead. I can go stop him, though, because of the Velkaz Blood Shrell. Realistically. I'll just ward it from the back of the pit. Holy shit, I'm fast. They didn't actually start it, they were just baiting me. I just kind of ran past them. That was like a Scooby-Doo moment where everyone's running in through the doors. I ran past them, two of them ran past me. That was kind of nutty. I don't think- I think they thought I was going to run straight to Dragon, but I went the long way around. Because I was trying to pick the Velkaz. Alright, uh, we'll pull it out a little bit more. Because I don't want Velkaz maybe sneaking it, even though I have Smite. Okay, our camps are coming back up, but our ult's also up, so I don't want to go farm right now, even though all my camps are up in red buff. I'd rather just use my ult. So check this out. Boom! Just save the Nico, just barely. I think Cass even flashed, but so didn't... Yeah, I think Cash flashed. His blue's coming up. We see him right here. He's already missing a chunk of health. He still hasn't bought in his items. We can easily solo him. We'll keep an eye on Nocturne. So right when he comes over here, well, no. Yeah, he's coming over right now. He might know I'm already over here based off the way I was moving. I'll just wait right here on the edge of the bush. He might, yeah, he's on his uh, wolves. I'm going to ignite him. Now I'm fast. He flashed the wall, though. It's fine. We got his wolves. We're going to take his blue. We're going to get Herald. And check it out, guys. After I take his blue and Herald, I can set up a full clear on my top side all the way down. Really efficient clearing. I'm not wasting any time. Uh, so far, like when you get ahead, if you can set up clear routes and pressure to where you're linearly consuming resources, you'll build up a nasty snowball lead. So by the time I finish my full clear, I can back get items, we'll fight, and then do a dragon again. So things are looking good. My ult's up in 20 seconds. I could look to do that instead of clearing. Mid lane looks like it might be a reasonable option. Looks like top lane. I might have to go there. I'm going to W the Irelia. Morgana's getting her low for me. That's good. And I just auto attack QE. So we're actually not going to full clear, guys. So something I talk a lot about in my coaching and my videos in general is full clearing in a linear fashion should be your standard method but when an opportunity presents itself you need to take the opportunity like i could have still done the clear but since this was very obvious i could get something it just made more sense to go top but if, let's say if that position if it wasn't like that then yeah i would have continued to just full clear reset and then do dragon we have our ult up there's a guy bot we still have herald We'll stand towards the front of the turret. I wish Morgana would have helped break it. I didn't want the Herald to die. It makes me sad when Herald dies. Does she really think she can fight me? <laughs> she doesn't even have a full item. I'll take his uh, Gromp again. I still have a full clear set up for me. All 
All right, yeah, we're gonna reset. Looks like Twitch might blow up our camp. So that's fine. We're already in a really good spot to where it doesn't matter too much. Normally, I would say don't walk around with this much gold. In general, the rule is don't walk around with more than 1,500. It's just I'm so far ahead and I have so many opportunities that it wouldn't have made sense for me to back at any point during this because I was just doing so much. It would have been weird for me to pull now. I was already in too deep. Next move for us guys is to... I, we we would have gone over here if red buff was up. We're going to come over here. Blue Gromp. Look for a gank with ult. It looks like he got him low for us. So now we're not going to farm. Because this is now the better option. Because we got a blood trail. And the enemies are shoved up. Mm, he's scared. I don't, I don't know what he thinks he's going to do. They both had flash in a hill. Damn it. Flashes are tough. There we go. We still have our ignite. We could use that here if Nocturne gets a little frisky. I don't think he will though. We're three levels up on him. If we can chunk him down to half health, I can kill him. I don't know how she's still alive. <laughs> Cass is somehow still alive. That's insane. Looks like it's Nocturne and Velkaz. I don't want to dive Nocturne now because Velkaz will be here. I'll just keep taking his camps and then I'll get the Dragon Rise that comes in. Building up a really nice level lead over him. Really good gold lead. We have nearly double his CS here. W, he's probably on GP. Where's GP? Do it, hit me again. Velkaz, you know you're fucked, dude. And you don't have flash either. I have ignite. Nimbus cloak OP. Uh! Yeah, the Nimbus cloak ignite guys. It let me catch up. If I didn't have the Nim ignite and Nimbus cloak, I wouldn't have been able to catch up to him. Cause I only have tier one boots. He has tier two plus movement speed item. There would have been no way. I'm telling you guys, Nimbus cloak ignite gives you a lot of options if you're ahead. A lot of options. Yeah, this poor Nocturne, man. He's been getting put through the ringer. His camps are back up. I'm going to run in there real quick and swipe. My ultimate's almost back up too, guys. Look at my build. I have 30% CDR. And, uh, yeah, my ultimate's up all the time. <laughs> Every single fight, it's up. It's one thing I like about going warrior when I'm ahead. It just sets me up for nonstop ult fights. I'm fixing the ult here. Yeah, good twitch. Good twitch slow. That was good. Nico coming in. Very nice. I hope Nocturne jumps on me. I really do. I have my E damage reduction. He can't do anything. Oh man, that's not good for him. All right, we're going to go ahead and shove mid. We just got a bunch of kills. Gangplank splitting top. Might as well take mid turret. It's the most important turret in the game. It's the fastest path from your base to enemy base. I could have just gone and taken his wolves, but I can always take turret. And then when the enemies come to shove me off, fuck. That's unfortunate. When the enemies come to shove me off, I can always go into his jungle and farm it out. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take this and then back. We are up now four levels on the Nocturne, and we're going to continue to take his camps. Let's W the cast. Unfortunately, Irelia was too close, so she kind of fucked that up for us. She was closer than the cast was. Can always smite the minion for the Nimbus speed speed up there, like you see. I don't know where she thinks she's going. If you're going to turn to hit Warwick, he can reach you. So it's like the moment you can hit him, he can hit you too. So you have to be really careful when you're running away from him. I don't even have tier 2 boots. But the Nimbus speed speed up. Nimbus cloak speed up for my smite on the minion. Kind of let me catch up. Yeah, I have too much gold, guys. Like I said, 1500 gold normally you would back. It's just only since I'm so far ahead. 
since I'm so far ahead, I have constant opportunities. It's like, think about if you're somebody who's rich, you have constant opportunities. You want to go to Hawaii, you can go to Hawaii. You want to go out to eat, you can go out to eat. If you're poor, you're stuck in your house all day. That's what League of Legends is. Get gold and you can do whatever you want. Like, even though I haven't spent my gold, since I have, since I have a level lead and the enemies are behind, it doesn't matter. I can just stay in their jungle. Okay, let's get dead mans, and then let's also get... You know what, let's not get that. Let's just get this, and we'll get wit's end. I'm tanky enough as is. I just needed some more armor and magic resist. I don't really need dead mans right now. It would it would be a good choice, but I wanted more damage with the wit's end. So now that we have our gold spent, we've emptied the bank account. And now it's time to get back out, pressure, and we won't be backing for a while now. We'll just be looking to keep taking his camps, maybe grab a Baron. And we do have uh, Dragon Soul coming up here soon. We don't want to die though, because if we die, we'll be giving up 1k gold. Yep, she's stepping up way too fucking close again. Igniter, yep, yep, yep. His turret, I don't even know how that works. What is he, fucking Heimerdinger? Nobody knows how Phaleos works. He's been out for like over a month. <laughs> he flashed immediately. He knew. Yeah, Twitch is backing me up. I like how Twitch, Twitch is like, nah, I got you, man. Phileos, you're not allowed to leave. If he didn't have flash, I would 100% killed him. Oh shit, they're collapsing. Why, Twitch, we could have killed them on wolves. Look at that! 866 damage! My Q just did 866 fucking damage. That's actually insane. Nimbus speed me! Oh! We're live! All thanks to Nico, of course. Trying to watch my pathing here. <laughs> He's so scared of dying. That's so annoying, Velkaz. Alright, let's just get the Dragon Soul. We don't need to force any more kills. He's only worth like 20 gold anyways. Now we have a 5 level lead on Nocturne. Steady, but slowly. We have built up a very nice lead. Now we can get Dragon Soul. We can set up Baron. With the Dragon Soul alone, it kind of puts the nail in the coffin. Our late game is better than theirs in my opinion. Because we have the Twitch Morgue. And with the Dragon Soul, it's just too much. If I would have landed my ultimates, I, did I land it in this fight? I think I barely missed Velkaz. If I would have landed it, I would have hurt them really bad with the AoE on my Titanic for sure. 100%. Let's clear this down a bit. I'm going to be on my way. I just want to get red buff real quick. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, what is Cass doing though? I don't think she knew I was in that bush. Oh yeah. Seventy-two hour stream, or I pluck my eyebrows eight. Oh god, yo! Thanks for the bow, Nike Thun. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate the support. Helps out a lot. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out tremendously. Also, we are streaming on Twitch, so check the link down in the description and pinned comment below. Coaching is also available at this time as well, so check the description and pinned comment below. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush.